Let's look at how the Barbieri SpectroPad syncs up with the Maxwell client. You're probably familiar with how the client works with other spectrophotometers. Well, working with the SpectroPad is different because the SpectroPad works differently than other instruments. While other instruments are directly driven by the client, the SpectroPad is not, but is synced to the software. Just as Barbieri's own gateway software does not drive the instrument directly, but enables it to be synced. So that's why when you make a new track here and you want to use the SpectroPad to measure into this track, some of these options like default instrument and default target have no relationship to the SpectroPad operation. All you have to know about here is the SpectroPad AutoSync checkbox and then choosing the target for the SpectroPad. You see, the SpectroPad is sort of autonomous. You don't directly drive it with the software. It has its own software in the pad itself, and you talk to it remotely, perhaps wirelessly, and you might even use it miles away from your base computer if you want to measure a printer across town. And then you bring it back and sync it with the client. The measurement files are extracted from its memory and changes are updated. So once you set up the SpectroPad, all you really have to do with the client is to click the sync button. And really, you don't even need to do that because the client can be made to continually ask for measurements every few minutes or so, so that it'll automatically sync. But setting things up the first time can be tricky, so I'm going to show you how to do that. Before you begin, you'll want to have a reference file in place that defines the target, how many rows and columns it has. We call this the target definition file you would paste it into the appropriate folder under the Open Target Folder link. You can also get to the same place using the Advanced menu. All the Barbieri's we support use the Barbieri zip file that gets exported when you make a new target in the Barbieri chart generator. You don't even need to unzip this file. Just place the file in the folder and the client will take it from there. This target will now show up in your list when you go to choose a target for the SpectroPad. Next, you add a Maxwell track to the client. Click the plus button, browse to the appropriate location in Maxwell where you have already created a new track for the SpectroPad, then choose it and hit OK. Now, inside the track, click the Auto Sync checkbox and choose the target in the pop-up box. Connect the SpectroPad to the computer using the USB cable or Wi-Fi. When it shows up in the left column, click on it and choose Connect. The SpectroPad will become active, and this Connect button becomes a Sync button. Clicking the Sync button will move any new targets onto the SpectroPad and also draw any measurements that have been saved off of the pad into the client where they'll be uploaded into Maxwell. The first time you sync a new SpectroPad, it might take several minutes to put all the correct files into place. There are indicators showing when there is USB activity to the pad or when there's internet activity from the client to Maxwell Online. Here it is downloading all the reference set tolerances and track information for the tracks to be put onto the SpectroPad. The new track will show up under the DOC module on the SpectroPad screen. Calibrate and measure as usual. The pad wants to start from the bottom row and then work up. Close and save the measurement as usual when you're done. Of course, you can measure as many targets as you like, and all the measurements will be saved on the pad until you're ready to sync again. Then, syncing will harvest the measurements off the pad, and you'll get Maxwell results as usual. These also get uploaded to Maxwell Online, where they are processed like any other instrument files. Here are some helpful ideas if you run into any trouble. There's a lot at play when using the SpectroPad, so when troubleshooting, try minimizing the variables, as we say. Connect with USB and not with Wi-Fi. Make sure the SpectroPad is fully charged and also keep the power cord plugged in if you're trying to isolate problems. You can open a log window in the advanced menu to see more details about what the software is doing behind the scenes. 
Note that the client won't transfer over the track target to the pad unless the patches of the target match those in the reference set, the color aim, in Maxwell. Or at least they have to be a subset of the file in Maxwell. So make sure your reference in Maxwell has all the patches you're wanting the pad to measure that are in the target. There are a few metrics that Maxwell supports, but the Spectra pad is unable to report on. So you might see a difference in what the pad displays versus what Maxwell shows. For example, the Spectra pad does not do metrics that track a single color or a specific group of colors. The client can be set up to automatically connect to an available Spectra pad, and it can be told to sync every few minutes when there are new files to download. Just a few more ways to make this hassle-free. Look in the advanced menu for these options. We also collect the temperature and humidity that is collected when the pad sinks. You can find that data in the color set details for the measurements. If you have any questions, be sure to ask us at Chromix. You can email techsupport at chromix.com or call tech support at 206-985-6837, extension 2. Thanks for watching.